ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find out what God means by 1.264 gambits. That's a lot of decimal places. Um, anyway, uh, Sweet Sorrow Auto Rifle. I gotta know what rolls I can get because I'm gonna craft a really, a really nice one. So we're gonna see what you can get. I'm gonna show you what my perfect roll is. It is on it. Is it on it? I don't know. Is it? And uh, talk about it. See what you like. Let me know in the comments what your roll is already that you got and the, the roll that you want on the Sweet Sorrow. I do not know what perks. I like to make these a surprise. We go, we go live stream. And I pick a gun and I say, hey, I wonder what I can get on this. And I want to do it. Um, but yeah, the Sweet Sorrow Auto Rifle, I like it a lot so far. It's a 720, which means it's a really fast fire rate auto rifle. It is of Season of the Risen. Is that this season? And it is craftable. You can go over here. I need to do how many more patterns to get it? I think I got four more patterns. I got two sitting here. I got two patterns right here. I can do two more and I'll be able to craft it. So it'll be pretty nice. Uh, but what we're going to do in this video is find out what perks you can get. We'll go to light.gg and gunsmith. See what we can do. Talk about it. Have fun. And make silly innuendo comments during the whole thing. So if that sounds like fun, hit the like button. Like the thing told you to hit in a, a minute ago. Chat, you can't see it because you're on the live stream. You're getting to see this first, but you don't get to see the like button graphic that I put on my videos. One day. One day. All right, we've got the Sweet Sorrow Auto Rifle. I like starting out here. You can see what the perks are. It does have the enhanced perks because it is craftable, which makes me very excite. It looks cool, too. So, like I said, it's a 720 Sahai. Rate of fire, low impact, solid aim assist, but it's an auto rifle and it shoots real fast, so meh. But, big mag, lots of bullets, I like it. Picasso. So maybe, maybe mega stability would be fun. It's got good stability already to start out with. We could go with some handling or reload speed too, but maybe the perks will help us out with that. Kind of want to know what the perks are first, and then pick barrel and mag to uh, accommodate the perks that I like. So you can do pulse monitor. Not usually a pulse monitor fan, but what does the enhanced perk do? Automatically reloads the magazine and improves weapon handling when lightly wounded, even when this weapon is stowed. That's a big deal. Because it's light, like you just gotta get hit, apparently. Ooh, I like that pulse monitor. That might be a completely different perk than the regular pulse monitor. Mmm. Then we got auto loading holster. I don't I don't want auto loading holster. Holster weapon is reloaded after an approved short period of time, so you stow it and it loads it. Triple tap's good. Enhanced triple tap? Landing precision hits, so you don't have to rapidly land them. You just gotta land them. Okay. For this auto rifle, I don't think enhanced triple tap's gonna be a big big deal. Stats for all, three separate targets, increases handling, stability, reload, range. Killing wind, final blows, gonna increase mobility, weapon range, and handling for an improved duration, so it's just longer. And then perpetual motion. Most stability handling reload speed while the wilder is in motion for a short duration. I like, I'm a big fan of perpetual motion, but I want to try out pulse monitor. So it reloads it and improves handling when wounded. To me, it's between perpetual motion, triple tap, and pulse monitor, but pulse monitor really just because I want to see how the enhanced perk works. I feel like that one has an interesting benefit. So perpetual motion is where I'm leaning. I do have a triple tap one. It's the regular triple tap. It's not enhanced. I don't think triple tap enhanced is the best. Like I feel like there's a better enhanced perk. Triple tap on its own is good. I would like this gun with triple tap because it'll be a good it'll be a good gun. Yeah, I like this one with a lot of stability. I'm thinking I'm thinking stability on this one. Check out the Scouty, the Scotty from the Gunsmith. Scotty, shoddy, scout rifle? What are you saying, Gum? So if we have perpetual motion, triple tap, pulse monitor, we get turnabout, breaking a shield, grant you an overshield. That's really cool. I have not used it very much. Tap the trigger, improve short period. It, we'll do a PvP version too. It'll probably be tap the trigger and maybe killing wind. Demolitionist, final blows, during an improved amount of grenade energy, activating your grenade ability to reload this weapon. So I think this 
This enhanced demolitionist is probably the old demolitionist. Enhanced Vorpal. Reloads improved with this Vorpal. One for all lasts longer. Ooh. And then Focus Fury didn't have the magazine. Bonus damage, shot count is reset. One of the weapons are. I don't like Focus Fury. It, it gives me anxiety. Definitely one for all. Perpetual mode. So if I'm going one for all, I am going to go triple tap. Triple tap or pulse monitor and one for all. I'm going to go pulse monitor one for all. I want that. Is that weird? I want that. Because I think the enhanced pulse monitor looks really good. Because you're going to be using this to clear a lot of ads. And if they're tagging you, you're going to get reloaded. Ooh, I like it. Picasso, pulse monitor, one for all. So let's take a look at the stats and see what we're going to pick. I'm going full stability. The range is not great. Reach, what's up? You do perpetual motion with tap the trigger for PvP? Probably yes. Um, definitely going backup mag. Take it up to 61. We could go tactical mag, get even more out of it with some reload speed. I like that. I would like more handling. I don't feel like the handling is as good as it could be. Nothing's going to give me handling here. Maybe flared magwell, but tactical is going to give me more rounds. Extended mag is going to get to 71, but I, the reload's so bad on the extended mag, I don't typically prefer it. 61 on flared, tactical mag, 65. Tactical or flared for me? Maybe flared? I, no, no, no. I'm going to go tactical with pulse monitor. Tactical, pulse monitor. Arrowhead break would be nice. This will give that recoil direction boost and the handling boost. Um, chambered compensator is going to give you mega stability, but there's a handling penalty. Corkscrew rifling is going to give you good across the board. I like clicking these because you can see all the different things. Fluted barrel would actually give us the most balanced perk set or balanced stats set. Man, polygonal. I like fluted. Fluted or corkscrew. I wonder if a little bit more range would be a really good bonus for this gun. Fluted or corkscrew? I'm leaving on fluted because that looks really cool. <laughs> I like it. So that's my PVE roll. I want this. Like, the good thing about this gun, it's going to cost you a lot of materials, but if you're like, hey, that sounds cool, you can do it. You just build it and see if you like it. If you don't like it, redo it. I'm, in, I'm into this. This is nice. Am I, am I attracted to this? So PVP, you're saying perpetual motion... Tap the trigger. Yeah, definitely tap the trigger here for sure. PvP pulse monitor could still be pretty good. But perpetual motion for PvP, yeah, it's probably a better, better deal. I don't like final blow perks for PvP. I like perpetual motion because you're going to get the shots and you got to run away. Uh, accurized for sure. Probably small bore for me. Maybe hammer forged. You want to go with as much range as you can in PvP, and it's probably going to be Hammer Forged. Hammer Forged gives you to 49, 49, 40, 40, 53 on full board, but you get that handling and stability penalties. Not a fan of that. I'm thinking Hammer Forged because you get a lot of stability and a lot of range. Yeah. Hammer Forged, Accurized, Perpetual Motion. Tap the trigger and a range masterwork with uh, a little targeting adjuster, maybe. Nah, I'm still going back a mag probably for PvP. Targeting adjuster on a auto rifle probably not worth it for me. So that's what I think. Tell me how wrong I am in the comments, chat, and let's see what the uh, let's see what the old community's running. Sweet sorrow, it is Arc Energy 720 auto rifle. Why are these numbered? I don't know what that means. All right, we got triple tap Vorpal. People are going triple tap Vorpal? Also stats for all, also killing wind. Arrowhead corkscrew, eh. I mean, there's 20,000 copies in this database, so maybe. I don't know, for this gun, triple tap Vorpal ain't it for me. I don't want that. But maybe. I mean, that's a good PVE roll. Triple tap Vorpal, it's always good, so. What are you running, chat? What do you like? What's your goal with the gun? Have you gotten it craftable yet? Let me know. Let me know if you got it craftable. I have not. Do you think red bars are dropping often enough? I've heard some are not. So let me know in the comments. 
Come out of the stream sometime. It's, you know, it's here. You'll find it. See you back.